Music Shell on the beach at Stratton Point. We're making the scene at the annual International Jazz Festival. From this historically fashionable summer resort, we'll be bringing you all the highlights of this year's Jazz Festival. Hi. Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. How come you're out here on the beach listening to the radio? I mean, the real thing's right over there. You can hear it, I bet, if you turn off the radio. My name's Linda. Uh, mine's Danny. And, uh, Danny feels like listening to the radio. Oh. Okay. You, uh, live around here? Uh, no, I'm from the Bronx. New York. Oh. You? Oh, yeah, I live here in Stratton Point. Oh. I work at the Widow's Walk. Uh, what's the Widow's Walk? A restaurant. Oh. It's more like a nightclub. There's a real good little three-piece combo there. My boyfriend plays piano. His name's Miko. Are you, uh, you sing there or something? No. I'm a waitress. Oh. Okay if I sit down? Oh, sure, sure. Hey, where till I, uh, shake the sand off this blanket? <sighs> Feels good to stretch. Hey, you really got to build, Danny. Nothing but muscle. The Other Five presents Jazz Festival. How come you're not? Oh, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it. Didn't you ever feel like not working? <laughs> yeah, plenty of times. I don't know. Sometimes I just get tired of all the noise and the joint and the smoke and everything. Yeah. Even the music. Maybe even Miko. I don't know. Your boyfriend? Yeah, yeah. He plays piano with the combo. Yeah, you told me. Oh, yeah. Right. Are, you, uh, are you engaged or something? I mean, you and this uh, Miko? Well... Not like wearing a ring or anything like that. I guess we got what they call uh, an understanding. Well, uh, you think you ought to be getting tired of him if you got an understanding? Oh, I don't know. I'm not tired of him, maybe. It's just that uh, with Miko, it's all the time so hectic or something, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I got to rest sometime. I can't keep on pushing like that forever. Pushing? Oh, well, you have to know Miko. It's like even when he sits down, he wishes he was walking or running. You know the kind of guy? Yeah, nervous energy is what yeah. they call that. Uh, I got some of it myself, but I can, you know, turn it off. <laughs> yeah, you must have it turned off now. You sure don't look like you plan to go anyplace. <laughs> yeah, you know, my manager says I got a talent for being lazy. I go when I go, but I, I stay real good when I stay. Your manager? Yeah. You know, I like it here. I mean, all this sand and water and everything, it's, it's like there's enough for everybody, you know? I don't see many things there's enough of to go around. Yeah, what you said about your manager. Too. I like it even better since you came along. To set up like this, you gotta have a pretty girl. You a singer or something? I mean, who else needs a manager? Well, me, I couldn't carry a tune in a basket. No, I'm, uh, I'm a fighter. You mean, like a boxer? Yeah. Professional? Professional. Gee... No wonder you got muscles, huh? <laughs> Gee. Yeah, I, I I never met a real boxer before. Yeah, well, there's nothing very special about it. How many fights have you had? Uh, 16. 115. Gee. How many knockouts? Uh, nine. Why, you a fight fan or something? Why, well, I, I just like... I mean, I, I admire big, strong men, that's all. Uh -huh. I guess you have to be pretty brave to be a boxer, huh? Brave? Well, I don't know why... I used to work in a place where they bottled soft drinks. They'd uh, 
put the bottles in cartons and stack them up on the loading platform, and then I'd load them on the trucks. I guess maybe it makes me some kind of a nut, but, you know, I, I like that job. Better than boxing? Oh, I don't know. A fighter makes a lot, of, a lot more money. Gee. I mean, it must be wonderful to be big and strong and brave like that. You know, so you can take care of yourself no matter what. Well, I don't know about wonderful. You have to knock people around a lot. <laughs> Boy, I wonder what would happen if Nico found us sitting out here together like this. He's real jealous. Huh? Well, then, maybe you are. And Nico's big and strong, too, you know. Well, then, uh, what we better hope is that he don't find us. Nico, take five? All right, so take five. It's a good thing you guys don't have to work for a living. Man, you sure ain't for people today. You ain't hardly for things. Lenny, I don't need a hard time from a second-rate guitar man, if that's what you mean. Ah, come off it, Nico. Second-rate? So third. You want a beer? Why not? Hey, Marie. I, uh, I don't see your chick around anywhere tonight, Nico. What happened to her? Who knows? She just plain old didn't show? So what's it mean if she didn't show? That's got to mean something? No, oh, don't stomp on me. I was just talking. Yeah? You guys want something? Beer. Uh, maybe Mikko here better have a belt or something to go with his. Just beer. Uh, what happened to our little Linda type tonight, Marie? Oh, you mean Miss Stratton Point of 1965? Mm-hmm. Oh, she took the night off. Probably out with one of them guys from over at the shell or something. What do you mean? Out with who? Don't yell at me. Okay, out with who? Well... Who? Okay, okay. Tony Arcano walked over from the shell. He said he'd seen some muscle-bound character, somebody that looked a lot like Linda sitting on the beach. Hey, Mikko, where are you going? Out. To look for the chick? What about the next set? Play it without me. It'll be out pretty soon now. Yeah. I come all the way from the Bronx just to hear the music, and all I do is sit out here. I could have gone to Long Beach. They got Marty Carroll tomorrow afternoon. Oh, he plays great, sir. Yeah, yeah, somebody said he was going to be here. Yeah. I thought maybe I'd go tomorrow afternoon. Until I have to go to work, anyway. Hey, uh, maybe we could uh, go together. Oh, maybe. yeah, okay. Hmm? I'll meet you at the West Gate. Hey, that's swell. Danny? Yeah? Listen, what's it feel like to be a boxer? Well, how do you mean? I mean, it feels like anything else, I guess. No, I mean, when you're doing it, you know? When you're doing it. And and between rounds and all that. Oh, well, you don't feel much. I mean, I don't anyway. When you, when you first get in the ring and you're in your corner waiting for it to start, that's the worst. You know, with the butterflies and everything. And you wish it was all over and you were eating the steak at Eddie's place. But you're not scared, are you? Scared? I don't know, it's a funny thing, but I, I, I just, uh, I don't know. And then when you're doing it, what's that like? <laughs> like the guy's got ten arms and no head. You get pretty busy, and it smells funny. How do you mean? Well, I, I never could figure it out, but before the fight starts, and after it's over, you don't notice, you know, but while it's on, even between rounds, something smells funny. And when you knock the other guy out, how does that feel? Not so very good. I have to make myself get mad. I mean, not crazy mad, see, but cold mad, you know? Yeah. Like, well, that last night I, I watched the guy beat my mother up or something like that. And, well, it, it, don't, it don't feel so very good. Danny? Hmm? You want to take me to the widow's walk where we can dance? Well, now, that's where your boyfriend works, isn't it? It's a uh, Nico? Yeah, that's right. Well, what do you want to go there for? Oh, I just thought... Wouldn't you like to meet Nico? Meet him? No. Oh, well, why would I want to meet him? Linda! You don't want to meet him? No. Linda! Well, you're going to. That's him calling me. Oh, no. Hey, listen. Is there any place where we can hide or something? Hide? Well, what's good of it? Going to Over a... here, Mecca! That was a pretty kooky thing to do. I think you ought to meet Mecca. Linda! What are you doing here, Linda? Hey, we were just... Who asked you, Clyde? Linda? We were talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talking. Well, come on. It talk's all over now. We're cutting out. I said, come on. I'll come on when I'm ready to come on. You better go with him, Linda. 
Well, for Pete's sake. I told you, come on. Let go of my arm, Nico. You're hurting me. I know, and who's going to stop me? Your muscle-bound boyfriend, maybe? Danny! You, uh, you better go with him, Linda. Huh! in a row you think I can do. Well, no, no, that's all right. I'll come with you. I, I want to talk to you. So let's get out of here. Oh, brother, they're noisy. Uh, so if you don't like it, stick to Carnegie Hall. Listen, Linda, I, I want to talk to you. Yeah, you know, I want to talk to you, too. How come you just let Nico drag me off last night? Why didn't you stop well, him? Well, listen, Linda, I, I didn't know for sure if it was any of my business. Oh, come on. You knew, all right. Okay, so I knew. Look, what I wanted to talk about... Were you was... scared? Were you scared of Nico? Linda, you keep asking me, am I scared of this? Am I scared of that? Is this such a big thing with you? Oh, I guess you could call it a big thing, yeah. Look, Linda, animals fight for their females. I mean, like bears and tigers <sighs> and like that. But people don't do that. Only animals. I don't want a girl to think I'm great because I can belt somebody. What kind of a way is that? You know, I don't think you're a boxer at all. You know that? I told you I was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Maybe you can talk like one, but you sure don't act like one. What do you want from a guy? A guy's got to bloody somebody's nose to get you? A guy's got to knock somebody silly? Is that what you got to have? Yeah, maybe it is, yeah. Oh, look, i I got to hurry. I'll just go on ahead. Uh, look, 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 we can get a cab. No, maybe. don't bother. Just don't bother, Danny. Huh? Hey, look, but I wanted to talk to Let's you. get it. Look, I wanted to... Uh, there's something i got to tell you. Linda. Hey, Linda. If it isn't the big prize fighter. Hey, you know, Nico's right up there on the stand playing piano. Aren't you scared? Look, Linda, I've got to talk to you. I just can't let you think it. I mean, I mean well, I, I just got to talk to you. Again? <laughs> okay, come on in. I'm a waitress and I'm on duty here tonight. If you want to talk to me, you can come on in, sit at a table like anybody else. Well, I haven't figured on everything. You want to talk to me, you come on inside. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, if... I, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon. Sit right here. Ringside table. All your own. Well, Linda, look, I've got to talk to you. See, when you I get not... time, Danny, I work here. Well, okay. You want to order? Uh, can you just bring me a ginger ale or something? I mean, I, I don't drink. See, I can't drink. <laughs> Whew, boy. Okay. One ginger ale. Coming up. Well, now, look who's honoring us with his great big muscle-bound presence tonight. I just came in to have a... Hey, Mecca, are you going to start something? Am I going to start something? Actually, the way I figure it, you and the muscle boy here started it. No, I uh, kind of thought I'd finish it. Look, uh, Mr., uh, look, uh, Mecco. You want to come outside with me, muscle boy? I cut you down a size in here and I get fired. My, my boys get fired. Maybe even Linda here gets fired. Now, you want to come outside with me? Mecco, he's chicken. He ain't going outside with anybody. You want to come outside with me, muscle boy? No. Ah, oh, come on, Mecco. For crying out loud, let him go if he's as scared as all that. Just let him go. All right, muscle boy, out. Out, like the lady says. And don't let me see you around here again, you hear me? Not again at all. Okay. Yeah, where you want, Marie? You got a minute? Listen, if anybody around this joint's got a minute, I guess I got one. 
What's on your mind? Well, you know that big guy you and Nicker were talking to at table eight a minute ago? Yeah. Is he... I mean, uh, you got first grabs or anything? I got no grabs at all. Oh, I wouldn't mind grabbing a little. Who is he? His name's Danny something or other. A boxer, the way he tells it. Fifteen for sixteen, nine knockouts. I didn't measure his biceps. Yeah, a boxer. That figures. Well, where'd he go? Who knows? Listen, you want him, you can have him. I mean, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but you know, all those bulges? Muscles, yeah. They're not muscles, anything of the kind. The chicken fat. Plain chicken fat. Like a hole in the head. Hey, you uh, want a beer or something, Nickel? Uh, well, I see if I'm supposed to take Linda home. You and the uh, Linda chick have a fight or something? How about minding your own business, Lenny? Huh? How would that be? Oh, Cheapers, I'm sorry. All I meant was. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Linda? Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, well, it's cut out the back way. I don't want to bow and scrape my way through that mob. Oh, you're in a pretty lousy mood, aren't you? What'd you expect? Come on. You keep saying, come on to me. Come on. Okay, okay. <sighs> oh, it smells good outside. Don't you think it smells good outside, Nico? To me, nothing smells good tonight. Oh, come on, Nico. You act like I did some great, big, terrible thing, and all I did was... Linda? Try... Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, what's with you now, Please, muscle boy? Danny, why don't you just go away? No, huh? I mean, uh, sure. Later on, I'll go away. But first, I've got to tell you this. I've been trying to... Now, you notice, muscle boy, I didn't hit you with my fist. I slapped you. That's what I think of you. Oh! Gee! Shut up, Mikko. You're going to get up? Yeah, I'm going to get up. No! Mikko, no, not the knife. Shut up! Danny's got a knife. Fine. That's fine. What are you talking about? See, that's what I wanted to tell you, Linda. Look, Mikko. You just stay where you are, Nancy. I'll be ready for you in just a minute. Danny, he's got a knife. Are you blind or something? No, no, no. I can see just fine. The thing is, Linda, my hands, any boxer's hands are deadly weapons. I mean, that's what the law says, see? I kill somebody with my hands and it's murder. I hurt somebody and it's assault with a deadly weapon. So how can I fight? You see, I can't fight. That's all I wanted to tell you in the first place. Nick, go put the knife away, please. No. Let him keep it. He's got a deadly weapon. I got a deadly weapon. It's even now. I'll use it. I'm gonna kill you. Nobody's gonna kill anybody, Miko. You're gonna get all bruised up, I promise you that, but nobody's gonna kill anybody. You ready, Miko? Okay. Okay, so I won't use the knife. <laughs> hey, look, I, uh, I dropped it, see? I got no knife. I got no knife anymore. Won't do you a bit of good, Miko. You already threatened me with it, see what I mean? But the only thing you can do now, if you don't want to get hurt, is run. Yeah, uh, wants to get mixed up with a punk like you anyway. I said run, Mikko. Run! Oh, for Pete's sake. I think I'm going to be sick. You want to take me home now, Danny? No, I don't uh, think so. Thanks all the same, but I... I don't think so. Presented Jazz Festival, written by Fielden Farrington, directed by Ted Bell. 
In the cast, Ed Zimmerman, Terry Keene, Jack Grimes, Evelyn Juster, and Peter Fernandez. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Mr. Lee Bowman. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. That's Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.